Chris with LG Squared at the Off Grid Homestead in Western North Carolina. No matter what, and no matter where you are in the world, don't ever build a house or a building with metal framing unless you have a lot of this to put on the outside of your building. Metal framing is more than 10 times as conductive as wood, and when you put the insulation inside the cavities, you lose about 75% of the R value. Metal framing is a great way to build a house, but again, don't ever do it unless you put a lot of insulation on the outside. It's resistant to mold, bugs don't do anything with it, it's a lot stronger than wood, it's a lot straighter than wood, and stays a lot straighter than wood. And in the case of the off-grid homestead where we used panelized metal framing, the the structure comes to the site built from in a factory and it's super straight to begin with this is rockwell insulation and we are putting four to eight inches of this insulation on the outside of all structures at the off-grid homestead all these buildings are made with 18 gauge metal framing and concrete the metal framing showed up on our job site a few months ago we sent all of our drawings probably about a year ago, and ever since they'd been working on engineering and all the shop drawings. Once the shop drawings were fabricated, they sent them to us, we reviewed them, made sure that all the panel sizes were uh, consistent with our design, and that when they showed up on the job, all we'd have to do is just lift them into place and screw it all together. There are a lot of fasteners, clips, straps, anchors, all these things that tie the whole structure together. The structure behind me is the main living pod. All the exterior of that structure was framed up in one day. The two flex pods that are on the other side of the courtyard, those were framed up, both of them, the exterior walls were framed up in a single day. When everything works out according to plan and all the panels show up the right size, framing goes pretty quickly and we can spend more time focused on the details, making sure our control layers are perfect before we install all of the insulation on the exterior. We've designed and built this entire project uh, with a very long term in mind, thinking 500, maybe a thousand year structure. Some cases, like in the barn, we've uh, we chose to go 12 inches on center. Another really great uh, benefit to metal framing uh, is, of course, its fire resistance. It, it, it'll melt, of course, just like the rock wool I pointed out earlier. That will also melt, but it has to be really, really hot. Uh, the gypsum sheathing that's going to go on outside of that you see there, that's the yellow board. That's on, out, on the outside of the structure. That's also fire resistant, and of course the half inch, half inch gypsum on the inside is also fire resistant. So you've got, with the metal cladding on the, on the outside, we've got a very fire resistant structure. So if you're looking in terms of value and long-term durability and, and building a structure that's gonna last a really long time, if not forever, metal framing is a way to get you to that goal. When we installed the, the wall panels onto the concrete floor, before we set them in place, we ran a continuous EPDM gasket between the metal and the slab. One of the main reasons for that is that there's still moisture in the slab and it will, get, it will make contact with the framing. So this is a uh, moisture stop. It's also a good uh, air seal at between the bottom plate and the slab. But if you get all your air sealing details right on the exterior of the structure, which is where your air barrier belongs, that EPDM gasket is, is, is meaningless in terms of your air control. In this case, it's only being used as a moisture stop between the slab and the metal so we don't get any corrosion in that bottom plate. As robust as steel is, we still want to protect it. And the, great, the best way to do that is to put all of your control layers to the outside of that steel structure. That's why we're putting all the insulation on the outside, all of our uh, water, air, and vapor control layers are just inside of our insulation. So we have continuous air, water, vapor, and thermal control layers 
all on the outside of the structure, preserving the metal framing, the drywall, all of the interior finishes, everything that's inside those control layers is protected forever. And again, if you do all of your details correctly on the outside of the structure, you will have a forever structure. And even though we may not be here in 500 to 1,000 years to see if these structures are still standing, uh, what's the point in building anything that's just for our lifetime or even just one generation to follow? Seems a bit wasteful. If we're going to do it, leave it for many to use for, well, forever. This has been Chris with LG Squared at the Off Grid Homestead in Western North Carolina. Join in following along with the progress of this really exciting off-grid homestead. If you liked what you saw and you like the other videos that are on our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. In a month or so, you'll hear about this 20 kilowatt solar power system with battery backup that we are this close to having it power the rest of our construction. So many details, so much exciting stuff. We hope you subscribe. We'll see you next time.